Have you ever wondered how to create your own game on Roblox with Roblox Studio? Well, watch this video and we'll cover all the basics and how to do that. Let's get right into the video. Number 1. Creating an account Creating an account is the very first step for anyone wanting to build their own Roblox world. Begin with opening Roblox.com in your preferred browser and then creating a character by filling out the following info. Birthday. Select the month, day, and year of your creator's birthday. According to Laura, the Director of Community Safety and Digital Civility at Roblox, inputting the accurate date of birth is important as the strictness of features like text chat will be adjusted accordingly to age. Username. Here you'll create a username or a screen name that others will know your character by. Another safety precaution, don't use anything close to a real name here. This should be an entirely fictional moniker as it will be visible to other account holders. Password. Add a password just as you would with any other website logins. Again, take the password seriously and stay away from way too easy to guess combinations of 123456, password123, and the like. After that, click sign up. A lot harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, cylinder. Okay. All right. Something like that's not bad, I guess. I want to add like a little dummy too. That way I can see basically for reference how big I need to move. What am I doing? Okay. All right. First things first, data stores. Okay. So we need to get the amount of wins in the game. Actually, we'll see that later. I'll we'll see that later. All right. So Number two, installing Roblox Studio. Once the account has been created, you'll be automatically lagged into Roblox and now ready to download and install Roblox Studio. Click create at the top of the screen, open the page loads, click start creating. You'll see a prompt to download Studio, click it. Once the Studio downloads, open it and run the program. When installed, you'll be asked to log in once again. Number three, viewing game examples. With the basics out of the way, it might be useful to pause and check out a few different types of games that can be created with Roblox Studio. Survival games. Natural Disaster Survival is a game where 20 players get together and try to survive a number of different types of natural disasters. In this type of game, players are not to get each other, so the only way to lose is by way of a part breaking free and flying around the arena. Hide and seek games. Hide and seek games work just like they do in real life. Players hide throughout the world and one person must search and find them. Number 4, Building an Obstacle Course All of that said, the first game one will probably create is an Obstacle Course, or Obby. An Obby is a game where the player must navigate many different obstacles and mazes to make it to the finish line in a timely manner. To get started, open the editor. Once the editor is open, you'll see in Start and with the Base Plate, which is a basic starting template used to build a project. Navigating the editor Before an obstacle is built, it's valuable to get familiar with how to fly around this brand new world. Here is a breakdown of what each button will allow players to do. W, move forward, S, move backward, A, move left, D, move right, E, move up, Q, move down. Number 5, Testing the Game While we've only touched on creating a few basics with this new game, it's important to stop and test through each iteration to ensure players are capable of making the newly created jumps and that blocks are appropriately sized and spaced. To enter play mode and test, click the play button in the menu at the top of the screen. Once the player appears, use the keys to move and spacebar to jump. Guide the player across each block step to make sure all the jumps are possible. Once done testing, click stop and exit to return to the editor. And that is it. Number 6, Coding and Beyond While the above breakdown is enough to get any new creator going with their own game in Roblox, there is so much more that can be accomplished thanks to the power of code. Roblox uses Lua, which stands out as a fun option when it comes to kids coding languages. With Lua, coders can take games to new heights, including features like explosions, new characters, and swords that wield awesome power. If you're interested in getting your kids started in Roblox, check out our online coding classes for kids and virtual tech camps, which offer a handful of courses that focus on Roblox. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our content in the future. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.